So what is it about you watching yourself tell that story that made you react the way you just did with tears in your eyes and you kind of just sunk a little bit? Seeing myself being vulnerable. And I don't usually let people in easily. Okay. I'm letting him in and just, I guess, all of America. Hey guys, well, uh, it was a little bit tougher. Because tough. being vulnerable was just something you were never allowed to do? I think I never allowed myself to do. Um, from a young age, I just didn't have anyone. Right. And I never had my parents come visit me. So I just built up this wall, don't let anyone get too close to me. You said something so beautiful and so profound that your life back there was in black and white and your life here in America is in color. Mm -hmm. When I was getting adopted, I had a teacher put it in perspective. If you stay here, your life will be in black and white because at that point, kids usually go up to ninth grade or 16 years old and they leave the orphanage if they don't have family, which I didn't. Um, fend for yourself and some way to do that is going to prostitution to make money, to serve to survive in a way. Or you can go to America and your life will be in color. A teacher said that to A you. teacher said that to me. And uh, you know what? I am living a life in color. A lot of red, a lot of red roses. It suits, <laughs> Definitely a lot of it color. It suits you beautifully well. I'm wearing red, too, I just realized. <laughs> but no, uh, I very much appreciate where I am in my life. I am proud of the woman, uh, woman I'm becoming. And that is thanks, thank you to my parents because they were the ones to give me this opportunity to come to America, to the land of opportunity, to see a better future. But knowing the kids there don't get the same opportunity I do, um, that's the guilt that I have. Yeah. And I'm watching you ladies, and I know you think the same of her as, as I do, but Liz, I'm watching you bawling over there. <laughs> Gonna make me cry, stop it. She's so just beautiful. Like, you're so strong, and you're such a beautiful woman, and you stand for all these things that we could never dream of. We don't know what it's like to be in that position. People here don't understand how we were born into such privilege. You know, and the fact that we're up here arguing, you know what I mean? <laughs> when like women, as women, especially in these times, we should be building each other up, not tearing each other down. You're so, so beautiful. Sweet. It's so elegant. You have so much love to give, and I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You truly embody the American dream. You are the American dream. And I'm extremely grateful that you did share your story. I just think it brings an awareness that we live in a place where we have a voice, we have opportunities, and there's other places like Russia, you don't get that.